incredible damage there, Monica. Storm Center 7 Chief Meteorologist McCall Vrydegs is here tonight with a breakdown of what we saw on live Doppler 7 radar tonight that prompted those warnings by the National Weather Service. McCall? Well, I have a radar loop here that begins at around 9 o'clock this evening up to current time, and you'll notice a very strong, intense line of thunderstorms that was crossing from west to east across the Miami Valley. And as it started to make its way into the Troy area, that's when we saw those very heavy reds. Take a closer look there as that radar was looping through Troy. Those winds were really beginning to pick up and you can see a little bit of that bowing beginning to take place with that line as it was working through. So I went back and I was looking at velocity scans. This was around 1010 this evening. Notice this area just to the southwest of Troy where the winds are increasing rapidly. In just a couple of minutes around 1012, we have a tornado warning issued by the National Weather Service. This circulation begins to tighten and then right over Troy right there there near the public square at around 10 13. You can see a very intense bright red and bright green shading, which shows us that there is directional change with the winds and potentially could lead to a tornadic situation. But this is just radar indicated and now seeing the damage in Troy, it's quite possible that it was tornadic. I did send a message to the National Weather Service to see if they're going to go out and survey the damage. We have not heard back from them quite yet, but we will let you know here on Channel 7 if they do. Now, that circulation began to weaken in the minutes that follow and around 10 15 or so it did weaken and we just saw mainly some stronger thunderstorms. Here is a live look in downtown Troy. It's still quite warm even though those storms came through. We have meteorologist Molly Coates to talk about the conditions elsewhere in the Miami Valley and now what's coming in now that these storms have left. Molly. Hi, McCall. As we take a look at live Doppler 7, you can see most of the heavy rain has moved out of the Miami Valley, and we are just dealing with lighter shower activity here in the area. As we go ahead and take a look at this, we're going to take a deeper dive, and you can see that most of the heavy rain is pushing well off to the east, and we do have just a little bit of lighter shower activity up towards Bell Fountain, and then we have another line of showers that are pushing through the here in the Dayton metro area. Now, the showers will taper off as we head into the overnight hours, but the winds will begin to increase, especially as we head throughout the rest of the night. We will see wind gusts as high as 55 miles per hour and that we could even see isolated higher gusts. We do have a report at Wright, Pat Air, Wright Patterson Air Force Base of an 83 mile per hour wind gust. So we will keep continuing to monitor this and coming up on my full forecast. I'm going to time it out for you hour by hour.